In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get instant pressure on your quarterback sending only three people in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for watching today's video. Um, and if you've never been to my channel before, uh, my channel focuses on Madden 21 tips and tricks. Now, we do uh, other tips and just blitzes and strategies like this. We show you route combinations you can use in your passing game. We show you how to have better pocket presence as a quarterback. We show you better running plays to use. Uh, we show you different blocking mechanics for the offensive line. And uh, we also show you a ton of stuff on defense, coverage schemes, blitz schemes, all that stuff, So and run defense as well. So if you're looking to get better at Madden, I would highly, highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen all right guys uh, we're going to jump into today's video now a lot of you probably witnessed the decroft versus young kiv game and saw decroft um, develop a really really good user rush out of the big nickel over g something that looks very similar to another play that he would be running from the same look and so that was kind of what made it so tricky well today i want to show you a user rush that i have developed out of the nickel 335 why i just labbed it up this morning um, and it's sending only three and i think you might even be able to get it sending only two um, but we're just going to come out in a gun uh, a gun formation let's just go with um let's just go with gun spread real quick just to show it and then um and then um we'll jump right in here so this is from the four six playbook and the formation is nickel three through five now what i like to do is come out with auto flip uh i like to have auto flip on and i like to set this to base align ball and air to play ball option defense on conservative strip ball i like putting these on conservative but for this specific thing you could actually put this on aggressive if you had a strip specialist um but for right now we'll just leave this on balanced tackling we'll leave this stuff on balanced uh, for here, what I would recommend is just putting your curl flats to 20 or 25 yards, and then you can kind of tinker with this as the game goes on situationally what you want to take away. So this comes to us from the nickel 335 wide formation. You can do it out of any play from nickel 335 wide. Um, the play that I like to do it out of the most is probably the either the Mike Blitz 3 or the Tampa 2, okay? And we're going to show it today out of the Tampa 2. Now, the 3 3 5 for wide formation, in my opinion, is probably one of the best formations in Madden this year, especially when you couple it with the nickel 3 3 5. Um, and if you want to get the full defense, this is in my uh, description below. It's got a full scheme from nickel 3 3 5 to nickel 3 3 5 wide to nickel normal to big nickel over G to 4 6 to 3 4 bear, all that stuff. So if you want to get access to all of that content and material, that is in my defensive ebook, which is in the description below. It also comes with my Arizona offense. So, anyway, we're just going to show you this real quick. So, literally, all we're going to do, because we're already set to base align, is um, if they're in bunch, we would basically unbase line and then repress it. We're just going to press coverage. Now, you see this is appearing to the average person like we're in man coverage. Now, we're going to set this up, and all we're going to do is we're going to shift our line to the left, or I'm sorry, to the right, and that's it. Now, what I like to do is kind of throw this guy like right here, just because I typically use or him. And this is gonna, so this makes it look like okay, he's using this guy right here. Instead, I'm actually gonna be on this guy right over here. And if you're facing gun spread, I would recommend just kind of pinching him in just a little bit, uh, not too much. And what you'll see here is we'll just run the basic. Now, this is a five man uh, user rush. We'll snap the ball here. And what you'll see is we'll be able to go right around the tackle and we'll be able to get the pressure right off the edge right there. Okay. So that's the simple simplicity of the use rush. You want him in a zone. You don't want him in a blitz because if he's in a blitz, the offensive line will pick him up better. What's unique about the nickel 335 wide is, and I would recommend pin, spreading your linebackers. So basically what you want to do is come out, and if they're in a spread formation, you're already going to be fine. If they're not in a spread formation, then you'll need to, like, basically unbase the line and press. But anyway, you get it right in here, and then you're going to spread your linebackers, shift your line to the right, and then from there, just take this middle linebacker right here and set him, like, right there. It just kind of disguises it. It makes them think you're usering him, okay? Instead, you're really going to be over here. And you're going to kind of slide this guy in just a smidge if they're in a spread. If they're not in a spread, you don't have to do this. But at the snap of the ball, you're just going to scream right off the edge, as you can see. And there I missed him. But um, it's hot, kind of challenging doing two controllers. But in-game, it's a lot better because – You'll have, if you're playing Mutt, you can put strip, stuff, strip specialist on that player if you want to. Um, okay, so the next thing that you're going to do, how do we get this free with only three? Well, what we're going to do on this back side is we are going to take this, this um, corner, 
and we're going to throw him um, into a um, curl flat zone, right? The outside guy, I like to put him in a hard flat, just something simple like this. Basically, we're mabling that side of the field. You could also roll the coverage if you wanted to, if you wanted to make this into a cover three. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. And then you could basically double flat. But essentially, all I'm trying to get at it here is you can basically zone out. Um, you can zone out this end. And then this guy right here is going to go into a bluff blitz. Make sure that you pass commit. If you don't pass commit, it won't work right. Again, you're going to be right out here on him. Snap of the ball. And you're just going to go out a little bit wide. And you see we're going to be able to get that three-man user rush at the quarterback. Now, let's see if we can get it sending only two. Now, sending only two is a little bit inconsistent. But what I'm going to do here is instead I'm going to three-wreck Indomitian Sue. I'm going to drop uh, this Rockets guy into a vertical hook on the right side of the screen. Then I'm going to take this guy, put him in a, perp or a, uh, a hard flat, put this guy in a purple zone, and effectively I would probably do this from a cover three. What's nice is you can do it out of any play, but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to create kind of a cover three. You know, that, Everything on the right side of the field should be boxed. So really all it leaves is you know this little window open in the left side of the screen. And this is a two-man user rush. Snap the ball. And you can't, it, like I said, it's a little bit inconsistent. And you really have to go, you really have to go wide at the quarterback to be able to get it. It's just not, and if you miss, like, if you miss, they have all day to throw. So I would recommend the three-man. But let me show you this this uh, two-man one more time before we jump off here. So shift your line to the, li to the right, spread your linebackers. Um, if you contain rush, that might actually help it. I haven't tried that yet. But basically, um, then just zone all these guys. And you're going to take this guy right in here. And we're going to shoot wide, and the tackle's going to get us. So, yeah, the three-man's probably the way to go. We'll try the we'll try to contain that guy on the outside. But I've noticed out of nickel 335 wide, they kind of get the same um, animations on the outside that the Dime 146 gets, um, which to me is actually very promising. Uh, there's some really cool uh, coverage defenses, in my opinion, that you can create from this formation this year. And this is probably, uh, like I said, this is one of the best defenses in the game for all of the flexibility. It allows you to stop the run. It allows you to stop the pass. Um, it allows you really to be able to hang with pretty much anything they're going to do. So here's the contained version. Snap the ball. Going around. And, oh, we get it. Okay, we get it. So there you go. If you contain that outside guy, you're going to be able to get in with just sending two people. So two people, and it's coming out of speed with the user rush with a strip specialist. Now uh, this is sending five out. I will show you um, if they just block the if they just block the running back, um, they'll probably be able to pick it up. I want to show you the contain one more time. Let me get this uh, backer zoned off here. So something like right here, and we're just going to keep it contain, pass commit, snap of the ball, come around. See how that contain goes wide and he gets him. That's going to open up that window. That's the key uh, to the blitz. Now, let me just show you if they block the running back, um, and let me show you them blocking the running back on the right side of the field. Now, most of the time, Murphy Buntling, the nickel corner, will be the side opposite of the running back. That's what we're shooting for. That's the goal, um, ideally. So, again, we'll just zone these guys off, free wreck him, and we're going to kind of pinch this guy just a smidge. And this is with a blocked running back. Snap the ball, come around. And you see, you can kind of get around against that block running back, but it's a lot slower of a pressure. It does slow the blitz down. Uh, let me show you the the uh, da, 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 da. let me show you the three man uh, version of this. So this is uh, this is sending three. So we'll get this guy right here. We'll block the running back. Snap the ball. And the running back's going to get us. But he typically will not get us until we're, like, right there. But as you see, he does pick us up. And if the running back picks us up, you know, it can be um, it can be a little bit of, you know, trouble for us. But if they're sending five out, you know, I mean, this is a good – this is not something you want to run every play. You know, this is not – this is certainly not something you want to run every play. It's something that you – you know, to me, it's something that you really just want to mix in. Now, if you send the five – if you send five at him, I'm pretty confident – let me just see the five-man version of this. If you send the five-man version of it, yeah, you're going to beat that blocked running back every time. So that five-man is probably the most consistent that you can run, which literally all you're doing is you're just shifting your line to the right, 
spreading your linebackers, and you're good to go. You're just getting on this corner on the outside, snap of the ball, comes in. As you can see, we're able to get right off that shed and be able to get that user sack um, right there. So that is, you know, user rush this year has added a whole new element, in my opinion, to the defensive mat. And you can say it's good or it's bad. Um, I'm not sure quite how I feel about it yet, but I think it's interesting, um, to say the least. As you can see, it just screams right off the edge there with that five-man version of it. So, um, But that's the user rush. There's five-man version, a three-man version, a two-man version. Let me re recap really quickly um, the setups for everyone. So literally, you're going to come out. Ideally, you want to be base aligned. Um, if you're not base aligned, and then you're just going to shift your line to the opposite side of the slot corner. So if you're if it was flipped, I could shift it to the left, and it would be the same thing. Okay? So you're just going to shift your D-line opposite of the corner, spread your linebackers. From there, the blitz is pretty much set up. I personally think QB containing is going to help it just a little bit from this because you get these wide blitz angles right here, and it just really opens up that pocket for you to be able to go. Um, and that's the five-man version. Now, um, if you want to start trying to zone people out, just go basically from right to left um, and zone people out. So I can zone that defensive end. And then, you know, this is four. And you'll see with sending four is going to work work very well for me. Okay? So I can send that sending four. Um, and then maybe try, you know, zoning. Okay, let me zone the uh, defensive tackle on the right. Okay, so we've zoned the defensive tackle on the right. And you'll see we're still able to get the, the same pressure that we're looking at right there. So we've zoned, um, so that's the that's the uh, four man, or I'm sorry, the three man, um, and then the two man. So we'll zone the defensive end, we'll zone the defensive tackle, and then um, we'll bluff blitz the left of screen defensive end and snap of the ball, which you'll see here is you can get right around him and he can roll. So that is the user rush broken down from nickel three three five wide. There's obviously other ones. There's one right up the a gap that you can use. <coughs> excuse me that will break down um soon but you've probably seen some breakdowns on that on you on youtube already but that's the edge one uh that's personally my favorite one um is that edge edge pressure so um if you want more tips like this if you want more defensive tips uh and tricks some high level stuff i've got a full big nickel over g uh defensive breakdown in my text message membership that you can get for completely free um it's over uh an hour I think it's over two hours of material on the Big Nickel Over G showing you how to stop the run and how to stop the pass from it. I also have a full bunch scheme in that uh, in that guide, is, or not in the guide, in the texting membership as well. So the texting membership is really, really cool. Uh, it's basically 100% free to sign up. Literally all you have to do to get it is shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. Also, guys, we'll be live uh, later tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, so I'd love for you to make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you can catch us on stream. We stream on YouTube, uh, and we also stream on Twitch, and we also stream on Facebook. Uh, our links are all in the description. Also, if you want to join the Discord, that's a great place to be able to connect uh, and just to be able to get better together as a community. So um, if you haven't joined that yet, that is in the description as well. But again, all you got to do to get that text message membership is just shoot me a text. Let me know you want to be a part of it. It is my personal cell phone number. So, uh, you know, I do try to respond to those pretty, uh, pretty consistently. I try to give a response within about 24 hours. Uh, sometimes I get a lot of texts, but um, working on that. So anyways, guys, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. I hope this video was helpful to you, showed you something a little bit different, um, showed you something that maybe you can implement into a defense you might already even be running. So uh, that is the nickel 335 wide user rush from the edge, uh, sending only two people, which is pretty nice. So uh, we'll see you in our next video. We got another video, another tip video coming out. I think we're going to do a nickel 335 run defense today, um, and we're going to show you that probably at four o'clock p.m eastern time so make sure you're subscribed and if you until then check out some of these videos that are about to pop up on your screen and we'll see you in a little bit